Catholic bishops have proposed new measures to help in promoting peace in the North Rift region. The bishops, while calling for peace, were joined by Nandi Governor Stephen Sung, who cautioned those behind attacks while urging them, while urging the government to take action against those instigating war in the region. Develop a platform for a multifaceted approach and to bring stakeholders together, both state and non-state actors. This includes investing in conflict resolution mechanisms, promoting dialogue between communities, disarmament initiatives, addressing historical grievances, and fostering inclusive governance. Point number 10. Engage community, religious, political, and other opinion leaders as mediators with the goodwill of both national and county governments. These will help foster trust and create conducive environment for dialogue. Number four, to mainstream peace activities in already existing programs and projects and to adopt an integrated programming approach. Number five, to hold annual North Rift Peace Initiative conferences on rotational basis. The situation around Kerio Valley cannot be sorted by government alone. We have tried whatever we have been able to do, both government at the local level and at the national level. We think it is time for us to synergize, bring together all the actors within the region and provide a lasting solution to the challenges in Kerio Valley. We cannot talk about any meaningful development within our region if Kerio Valley is bleeding. And I want to say, Bishop, part of the reason why we have never gotten it right is because we have never developed sufficient courage to call the situation as what it is in that region. Let us give the actors, people who perform this activity of cattle wrestling, an opportunity to play a central center. Let us provide resources. Let us give all the necessary, uh, necessary support that is needed. But when it comes to talking to them, talking to those people, we need one, to identify uh, the, uh, the reformed warriors. Number two, we need to get leaders who come from those particular communities and majorly those who have set a pace in building peace. Now, Deputy President Trigati Gashagi.